everyone's health and safety, please wear a face cover. Cover your mouth and nose when coughing and sneezing. Good morning guys, I am here at Disney Style today and I am continuing my series of Disney Springs shopping. So at the very end of the video, if you like anything that you see, I will give you full instructions on how to place an order with me. But for now, let's go see what they got. Oh my gosh, so walking in, they got some really cute new shirts, $36.99. They have a Tarzan shirt. They have the Caterpillar shirt. Look at the socks. Oh my gosh, look at Miko, That's so cute. Look at Scrooge McDuck over here, but look at this awesome Miko hoodie. Oh my gosh, this, if this is not the cutest thing. Holy cow. So the Miko jacket was $44.99. I went ahead and did a voiceover on this one as well, only because the music was playing really loud and I didn't want to get a copyright strike. So I was really feeling a lot of this newer merchandise. That's not so new, that's been around for a while. But look, Rescue Rangers, oh my gosh. I know Emily Watson from the UK would love that. And uh, yeah, I was just shocked to see those. So super cute. I really love this store because it's small and quaint and they have the best clothes here. Like, I swear, like I literally probably would wear everything. I love this. I was in love with this hoodie. And it was one of those lightweight hoodies. It wasn't like super heavy. Then they had all the new Muppets gear. I thought it was pretty cool, $36.99. Most of the Disney shirts in general were $36.99. I did not do a good job of showing <laughs> what price that little animal bag was. I wanna say he was 40. Um, they had a lot of these type of water bottles, different styles, and they were all different prices. So this one was 30, um, but I saw all different ones. I saw some that were like 20. So somewhere, to, here we go, $40. Oh, that's right, when I want a chicken dinner. Okay, so moving on. This was like, just like the whole little Muppets rounder. They had Kermit the Frog plush, animal bag. Those bags were super cute. I just thought they were adorable. Uh, here we have more of the Disney Tales merchandise. I just did a video on that. It has all the price points um, for the Disney Tales stuff. This was cute. This was like a ribbed um, tank top. This was cute. Oh, I just love these colors. $29.99. Uh, look at the plastic on that. It just reminds me of like a shield, face shield. Uh, let's see. The watermelon bags were dun, 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 $29.99. And they, I love the colors. I just love this whole line that they did. They're just, it's just super cute. I love the spirit jersey. I am in love with the spirit jersey. Um, the Crocs, I was having a very difficult time finding the price and trying to film and trying not to touch all the merchandise, but I didn't do a very good job, obviously, because I was like touching everything. I want to say they were 50, yep, $50. There we go. So $50. You had me at Walt Disney World. Another cute, super cute shirt. Cinch bag. I think that said 20. Don't quote me on that. I know it's going a little bit fast. And some of these, like, you might have to stop the video and kind of zoom in to see the prices a little bit better. $20. Uh, sometimes it's hard. I try to go very slowly, but, you know, there's a lot of people around in the store. Uh, and so I'm trying to focus on not running into them and social distancing. <laughs> Spirit jerseys, uh, those are $69.99. Oh, I love this one, it's so cute. <laughs> the neon green, and I love this. I'm, I'm a spirit jersey girl, I love spirit jerseys. And this I thought was cute. I really like that one too. That one was $22.99. See, there's, so there's def definitely different variations in the pricing. Uh, a lot of the lounge fly are like $80 and $90. These, let me tell you guys, these shirts right here are gorgeous. I want one in every color. And they're so lightweight. 
And they are different styles. I Hopefully, I'll show you what the gray one looks like because there's, like, two. But as you can see, I was, like, showing how thin it was. So if it's hot where you are, these are great. And these are great to wear in the parks. They're so lightweight. They're nice and flowy. They're super comfortable. I highly recommend these, like, 1,000%. And I think Disney, if you're listening, there's so many... So many people that love tank tops, and that's for men as well, men and women tank tops. I really feel like there's not enough out there uh, in the merchandising department. So if you guys love tank tops, Disney tank tops, leave it in the comment below. Maybe Disney will see and start making more tank tops. I don't know. So I love the 1971 gear. Again, I like the tank top a little bit better here in Florida because it's just more flowy and breezy. And I love that one, too. I thought that was gorgeous. The sweatshirt that they had there. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the vintage stuff. This was... I can't see the price, but I think it was like 84 It was crazy. And then I was thinking in my head, why is it 84 And they turn it around, and it's because it was Danielle and Nicole. That's why. So it's the small world bag. And then you've got the matching joggers to go with the sweatpants. Sweatshirt. <laughs> Another sit sack. And wait for it. Because now you will know that I am full, fully back in swing if you know I do what in a Liz video. I don't like to refer myself in third person. It's very odd. But I just did it. <laughs> well, I thought I, I thought I did something, but maybe I didn't. Maybe I swear I did. Let's take a look. All the coral stuff, also very hot. I know some of this you can get on Shop Disney, but some of it you can't. Your size might not be available. Who knows? But uh, I think, wait for it, wait for it. Da da da! <laughs> if you follow me for long enough, you already know that I drop things a lot in the videos. But I thought that case was the cutest. That popcorn case, I, it was really cool. I thought that was very unique. I hadn't seen that before. I don't know if you guys have seen it. I thought, and this one as well. I thought that one was super cool. And it had like a little like a strap, like a camera strap. I thought that was really cool. But yeah, I always tend to drop something when I'm filming. And so now you know I'm back in full swing. <laughs> oh my goodness. These were like neon green, $39.99. And then moving on to the hats. Most all Disney hats, the price point is right around $27.99. I think every now and then I might see one for $29.99. But the majority of them are $27.99. Look at that dough up. And this is like a one piece. And I don't know why I didn't show the price point on that. <laughs> um, lots of the t-shirts. I think most of these were, those, these were 30. Look at this. Who remembers the castle like this? I know there's so much controversy about when the castle was like this, but I loved it. I thought it was adorable and I thought it was super cute. But some people hated it. But that was, I loved it. I love seeing the castle dressed up as a big old birthday cake. <laughs> and Pinocchio. Fantasy Land 83. I thought that was super cute. And then moving on here. Nice raglan shirt. Super cute. I love the raglans. Love the Disney raglans. And again, most of these items, that one was 50 because that's a sweatshirt. But most of the t-shirts like range between 30 to 36.99 i feel like those joggers were super cute they were adorable they were super adorable and they were they seem like they would be really soft to wear like very cushy 44.99 so here's the little price point to reference back to i didn't want to touch all these normally these run from nine to twenty dollars the four patches normally run about 20 the single normally runs about oh gosh how much? I don't remember. $10. All the Alex and Anis. And they had some really cute ones. You might have to pause the video. I was trying to go slow so you could see what they did have available. But obviously, I need to go a little bit slower. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. You just have to pause the video and zoom in on some of these. Just really see what they are. I need to go and do a video at Ever After. Because Ever After has, like, all the Alex and Annie's. They have all the Alex and Annie's. They have Daniel and Nicole. They have lounge flies. Uh, they have all the really cool stuff over there. All, all the stores. $44.99. There you go. So I, I bet you the majority of them were $44.99. You have like a classy mini Bose uh, shirt. 
These were $24.99. So they didn't have a lot of pins, but the day before I had filmed the pin trader video, and interesting enough is that they did not have this pin over here at pin traders, one of the princesses, they just didn't have it. So I actually had a client of mine wanting that pin right there. So I actually was able to pick it up for her at the store. So I was really excited about that. The Toy Story little bag was cute. I just love these little keychains. It's just a simple reminder of your happy place. You know, when you get in the car and you have a super cute keychain like that. This is ink and paint art easel set. There are magnets, $24.99. And then, um, like a little, oh, those are buy one, get one half off, class of 2020. I don't know if the Alex and Ani was. You would think that the Alex and Ani would be buy one, get one. No, I'm sorry. They were buy one, get one free. All 2020 merchandise is buy one, get one free. But I don't know if that includes the Alex and Ani or not. If you know, you're more than welcome to comment down below in the comments section below. But... I'm not doing a good job filming that. You have to go really slow. This just reminds me of super retro, super retro 80s, 90s. Look at Pleasure Island. How many of you guys have been to Pleasure Island? I can definitely say that I have been. Uh, I used to have an annual pass to Pleasure Island when it was here. It was so much fun. And you could get all the free, get into the, like all the free concerts. I think those days are behind me now, but I... I enjoyed it while it was here. It was pretty cool. Very nostalgic. See, if they had a tank top of Pleasure Island, I would have got that. This is the best shirt of life. Just letting you know. I actually have it. Um, I used a Disney gift card that one of you guys sent me. Thank you so much. And um, I just love that black shirt with all the retro neon colors on it. It was It's so comfortable. And then here we are. More Disney retro shirts. I think these are so cute. I love the colors. I just, I like the colors. This one was $39.99. I think the shorts were the same price point. I put it right, that's a lot to wear the whole thing. Oh my goodness. But these are so cute. These are $12.99. These are so, I love it. I love that one's my favorite. If you can dream it, you can do it. I love those so much. Um, these are all notebooks and I believe the price point was $20. Uh, I don't think it said it on there, but... Um, I'm almost positive it's 20 because Joy had gotten the stitch one for her birthday last year or Christmas. I can't remember. So these are just a little, some knickknacks. I love that. If you can dream it, you can do it. I totally agree with that. Don't ever give up on your dreams, no matter what. No matter if you try hard and fail and fail again and fail again, most, the most successful people in the world have failed many times, but they never gave up. Um, such cute magnets. You know, it was really hard... <laughs> show the price point this is my favorite one look how cute that is oh my gosh and i hate that when i do that it's a red pricing and then you can just refer back to what the red pricing is i thought these were really cute card holders they're only 15 dollars. i thought they were absolutely adorable it's nice you can take that to the park or whatever best date ever with pascal 9.99 it's also a magnet on the back of that very very cute and then a tiki room was it a tiki room diorama i did it so fast i couldn't really tell <laughs> what diorama it was and then let's see a pen 16.99 again if you see anything that you like feel free to send me an order at the end of this video i will tell you how to place the order you can combine your disney spring orders into one email if you watch my videos and you see something from here, something from Pin Traders, something from Goofy's Candy Company, um, that will be my next video. These were really cool. These were all night lights. They all light up. The Monroe one, those were super cool. Super cool. Um, but anyhow, you can definitely combine Disney Spring Peckups. I will, you know, get you something from World of Disney. I will get you something from the Christmas shop. Um, all in one trip so and I'm going to be continuing this series and really trying to focus and showing you guys what is a what is available at all the different stores so the next video that's coming out will be the 2020 merchandise which is buy one get one free and that video will be combined with the Goofy's candy company they have a lot of free packaged treats now you do have to remember that it is Florida and it's hot so if you are looking to order chocolate it may or may not come 
uh, melted. I will take it personally to the post office um, so it won't sit in the postal truck all day. Normally I have the postal carrier come pick it up from my house, but for chocolate, I will definitely take it to the post office. I have a friend of mine, her name is Kim, and she had ordered chocolate one time and I think it came perfectly fine. And the next time, instead of a bag of melted malt balls, it was just one big malt ball <laughs> because it had melted. So that is a risk. I just have to warn you that, you know, in ordering chocolate that you might have to take. But they had all other kinds of treats available. They had, oh my gosh, they had all types of cookies and popcorn. They had tons of flavored popcorn. They had pre-packaged Rice Krispie treats. Uh, they had all types of licorice and Mickey's gummies. They just had a huge variety. So that video hopefully should be out tomorrow. Within the next two days, it'll definitely be out. That was cute. Oh, I love that shirt too. Disney state of mind. This store... Oh, they just have so much cute stuff. Like, it's just cuteness overload in the store. Like, I swear they take the cutest, gorgeous stuff out of everything in World of Disney, and they put it in the store of clothing. <laughs> With the exception of dress shop dresses, you will never find, at this point, you will never find a dress shop dress in this store because they carry that at Cherry Tree Lane over at the co-op marketplace. This is more kind of like a boutique store. And if you guys ever visit Disney Springs, you definitely have to visit the store. It's so cute. And go and take a picture in the little teacup. And I think I do show that later in the video. And I believe that the original, one of the original Skyliner uh, buggies or whatever you would call it is actually in the ceiling of this store as well. So, so much, so much, so much to choose from. And it's not a huge store. It's, it's just very nice and quaint. Look at this. Hub grass is my favorite color. I thought that was hilarious. I love that. I love that. That was just so great. Like, if you were to wear that, I wonder how many people would actually understand, like, it's like Disney code. So it would attract other Disney fanatics. <laughs> I love that shirt, too. The love your life. Oh, it was so cute. Fun day. That one's been out for a little while. I've seen that one before. That lounge fly I've never seen. I've never seen that lounge fly. I don't know if I'm out of the loop. Oh, that's because it's not a lounge fly. <laughs> that was just like a Disney Parks bag. It was so cute though, $40. And I like that shirt too. That's a lounge fly. <laughs> that's why I haven't seen it because it wasn't a lounge fly. Oh my goodness gracious. $50. These were adorable. I like the purple wall one. I could not find the pricing on the stitch headband or the Simba headband. <laughs> they had no price point on them, so I was a little frustrated because um, they had some other headbands throughout the store, and I just didn't know, and I didn't want to bother the cast member. If I had to guess, I would say about 20 I don't know. But uh, let's see what else to say. The Monsters University shirts, those were super, super cute. Lounge Fly, Sully and Mike, they're so cute. And Pixar phone case. That's so cute. The door. Hercules. This is just a really cool merchandise. You don't see a lot of Hercules merchandise come out. You just don't see that. So I thought that was really cool that they had a decent selection of Hercules. And it'd be cool if they start doing that with some of the, the movies they just don't feature as much uh, and make merchandise for anymore. They, I think that's a, a wise decision. So famous from Inside Out jacket. And we had some shirts. Here we go. Glitter, coffee, and famous. $36.99, I would imagine. And then the lounge fly. I think all these lounge flies are $80. And see, yeah, there's more headbands. Look at the, oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, I love the alien. I think it's $40 was the alien. It was so cute. And it's Disney Parks. It's not Loungefly, but it was just so cute. Look at the potato head mug. Oh, my gosh. $22.99. And then the Pixar ball was $22.99 as well, which I thought was really cute. Forky. Forky's a hard find, you guys. You can't find Forky anywhere right now. Like, Forky's hard to get a hold of in Disney Springs. Uh, I have a client of mine that wanted Forky, and I picked it up for her that day. She lives in the U.K., but uh, I'd been down there a couple times previously to Disney Springs and couldn't find him at the World of Disney or um, Trendy, which they have launch flies over there as well. I just couldn't find it, so I found it for her that day, and I was super excited about it. 
So all the incredible merchandise was really cute. And more of the up merchandise. I didn't see the New Year's. Oh, cats are hot. Kevin, I was shocked. I was shocked. All right, guys. So to order, it's really easy. All you have to do is send me your name, address, your phone number to the email, lizlinen at gmail.com. And I will pick up anything you want. Anything at Disney Springs. If you see something at Pin Traders and then you see something at Goofy's Candy Shop or wherever, you know, just basically write, hey, I would like this pin from Pin Traders. I saw this at Goofy's Candy Company. And then that will help me, direct me to where I need to go to get your stuff. So my fee is a flat rate of $10 minimum or 20% of the sale, whichever is higher. And invoices, um, once an invoice is sent, is due within 24 hours. Um, so that's it. And I hope you enjoyed um, this video. And I can't wait to make more of Disney Springs. And don't forget that every day is a gift. And have faith and share the joy.